Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X-T2 and Fujifilm X-T10. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X-T2 and the Fujifilm X-T10 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 7th of July 2016 and the 19th of May 2015. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T10. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T2 and the Fujifilm X-T10. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T2. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T10. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T2. This Fujifilm X-T2 camera is amazing. The picture quality is top-notch, the lenses are reasonably priced, and the ease of use is outstanding. The ability to shoot RAW and JPEG simultaneously on two separate cards gives me peace of mind. I love the customization options for buttons and the electronic viewfinder. The only downside is the camera neck strap, but I replaced it with a Black Rapid R Sport strap. This camera is amazing, I used to shoot with a Canon DSLR, but after trying out the Fuji X-T2, I was hooked. It's lightweight, has a superior focus system, an articulating screen, amazing film simulations, and looks great too. It's made shooting so much fun and I definitely recommend it to anyone considering switching to mirrorless. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T10. I recently purchased the Fuji X-T10 and I am very happy with it. The stills are excellent and the action shots and video are also very good. The ability to crop photos without losing resolution and the filter effects are impressive. The camera's apps are useful, especially for remote shooting and transferring photos to my phone. The raw photos are easy to work with. This camera is my first interchangeable lens camera, and it has blown me away. The low light performance, compact size, and manual controls are perfect for my backpacking and traveling adventures. The image quality is amazing and the Wi-Fi feature is convenient. It's a bit pricey, but the quality and user experience make it worth it. I wish it was weather sealed, but otherwise I give it 5 stars. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X-T2 we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Fujifilm X-T10, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 